Hello again, uh, it's Miss Kim. Um, uh, today I want to go over uh, safe dose ranges. Um, so this is the what safe dose is. Um, a lot of medications are based on a person's body weight. Um, and you will be given an amount with the safe dose range. What's going to happen is they're going to tell you that the patient can have between this and this. Uh, milligram per kilogram per day so your job is to find out if what the doctors ordering them is safe um, these are your steps okay uh, first you're gonna need to convert the weight um, sometimes they give it to you in kilograms most of the time they don't uh, if you do have to convert the weight either pounds to kilograms or pounds and ounces to kilograms you would need to round to the tenths place. Weight is always to the tenths. Um, use the weight to calculate the desired dose range. That's the low and the high or the minimum and maximum for that safe dosage range. It's going to be based on their weight and they'll give you an amount of time either per day or per dose. When you determine for step three if it is safe or not, you have to pay very careful attention to if the safe dose range is in per day or per dose um, because what is ordered is always per dose but you may have to change it to per day and I can show you um, step four what are you gonna do well if it is safe you're gonna go ahead and calculate how many milliliters or tablets you're gonna give your patient um, if it is not safe you're gonna note. Uh, you're not gonna give the med medicine, and you're gonna notify the doctor um, for a quiz or a test. You would just say um, notify the prescriber, call the doctor, um, something in that form. Um, forgive the A B C D. For some reason, it copied them all as all A's. I'm not sure why. <laughs> so these are the basic steps. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna have to do is find the patient's weight. Okay, so here he's getting digoxin 0 0.3 milligrams every day. Um, the what you have available is 0 0.25 milligrams in one milliliter, and the weight is 44 pounds. And this recommended dose or the safe dose range is 10 to 20 microgram per kilogram per day. Okay, so first thing you're going to do is find his weight. So to find his weight, we're going to take his pounds and we're going to divide by 2.2. I believe that's 20, but let's check. 44 divided by 2.2 comes out to 20. Okay, so he's 20 kilograms. Okay, for his safe dose range, the way I do this, um, I do a low and a high. Okay. So his low is 10 and his high is 20. And what you're going to do is multiply by his kilograms. Okay, so you're going to multiply by his kilograms, which is 20. You know, multiply by 20. Okay, so for the first one I have 200. For the second one I have 400. And the units are, you can't forget your units, microgram per day. So microgram per day microgram per day okay uh, my pinky is touching the screen that's why it keeps going out okay so now we need to see if the dosage order is safe so now what we're gonna do is come up to what he is prescribed now he is prescribed 0 0.3 milligrams okay 0 0.3 milligrams every day so that is per day so for this one you don't have to convert because this is day this is day this is day you're all good here except to see if it's safe you have to make sure the metric units match and they don't for this one the for the what he's prescribed is in milligram and what he is the safe dose range is in microgram so for this one for letter c you're going to have to convert milligram to microgram and for that, we just multiply by our 1,000. And that gives you 300 micrograms per day. Now, since all the units match, if you notice, so microgram per day, microgram per day, microgram per day. 
So once you see that it, they all match, you're going to see if this number fits in between these two numbers. So the range is 200 to 400, and he's getting 300. So yes, it is safe. Okay. So is it safe? Let me write it right here. Yes. Okay. So once it's safe, you're going to do step D. So you're going to have to determine how many milliliters to give. Now, I'm going to put that information on the right-hand side because I'm out of room. So now what you're going to do is you're going to sort of forget that you did all of this other stuff. Okay, all of this other stuff doesn't really matter right now. You've already determined if it's safe. So now you're just going to go back to the actual dosage problem. Okay, so we already determined that he is ordered 0 0.3 milligrams. And so for my problems, I do D over H times Q. So what's ordered is the 0 0.3 milligram. What I have on hand is right here, the 0 0.25 milligrams per one milliliter. Okay, so then I take 0.3 divided by 0 0.5, whoops, 0 0.25, sorry, and I get 1.2 milliliters. And that's the final answer for how many milliliters you will give. Okay, so let's do another one. Okay, so for this one, the steps are the same. So first off, uh, chi the child weighs 12 kilograms. Oh, and this one doesn't even have a safe dose range on it, does it? Um, let's go ahead and hold on one second. Okay, sorry about that. Um, when I put this screen in here, I didn't realize it didn't have a safe dose range, so I made my own. <laughs> so it's right here. Um, so he weighs 20, 12 kilograms. He's ordered 125 milligrams by mouth every eight hours. Um, you have on hand 20 milligrams per 5 milliliters, and you have a safe dose range for this medication of 25 to 50 milligrams per kilogram per day. Now, for this one, the patient's weight, sometimes it's done, and this one it already is, so you've got just the 12. Okay, for the safe dose range, I'm going to do my low and my high. So my low is 25, and my high is 50. And I'm going to multiply both of these, the low and the high, by his weight. Okay, So his weight is 12. So 25 times 12 gave me 300. And 50 times 12 will be 600 milligrams per day. You need to write all of your units so you can keep everything straight. Okay, so this is his safe dosage range. Okay, step, letter C. So we want to determine if it's safe. So to determine if it's safe, we go up to what he's ordered. So he is ordered 125 milligrams per dose. But to see if these match, you this says per dose, these say per day. So you're going to have to change what is ordered for him per dose two per day. Well, he's getting it every eight hours, which is three times a day. So you'd multiply that by three times a day. So he's getting 125 times three times a day. So he's getting 375 milligrams per day. Okay. So since this is his dose and now that's per day, per day, per day, they all match. And to see if it fits right in between. So his safe dosage range is 300 to 600, and he's getting 375. So yes, it is safe because it fits in those two numbers. Okay. Step D. Um, if you now you have to determine um, what you're going to administer. So all of this stuff right here doesn't matter anymore. You're all done. So you're just going to go back to the original dosage problem. So originally he was ordered 125 milligrams, okay? And what you have available is 200 milligrams per 5 mLs, okay? So we do 125 divided by 200 equals 
times 5. So 3.125 milliliters. Okay, so uh, the good place to cover this, to go over our rounding rule, if you're, let's do uh, a different color. We'll do brown, just for fun. Oh, no, I had a gray. Hold on. Gray? Okay. So, if your milliliter is uh, less than one, you round to the hundreds. Okay? I have to make, write it small. If your milliliter is greater than one milliliter, you round to the tenths. Okay, so less than one to the hundredths and greater than one to the tenths. So this one is greater than one. So we're going to round to the tenths. And that two makes that one stay the same. So your final answer would be 3.1 milliliters. And that's your answer. Okay, I have one more screen left. Okay, so let's see here. Patient weighs 35 pounds. Uh, he has an order for Keflex, 150 milligrams per POQ6H. Recommended dose, 25 to 50 milligrams per kilogram per day. And available, 250 milligrams per 5 mLs. So the first thing is his weight. So I have 35 divided by 2.2. 35 divided by 2 point, whoops, wrong button, 2.2. And I get 15.90, so it would be 15.9 kilograms, because you always round to the tenths place. Okay, safe dose range. I have my low and my high. The low is 25. The high is 50. I'm going to multiply that by his weight. His weight was 15.9. I didn't change my color, but 15.9. Okay. So, I have... 15.9 times 25, and I get 397.5. And since this is a dosage, we do not round. You leave it the way it is, unless you're told to round otherwise. Uh, so far, I don't think we've had any of those. So now I'm going to do it times the 50, and here I get 795, and the units are milligrams per day. Okay. So now we have to find out if it's safe. So he's getting 150 milligrams every six hours, which is four times a day. So he's getting the 150 milligrams per dose, but we need to have it saved per day. So he's getting it, let's see, every six hours, four times a day. So 150 times four, 600 milligrams per day and since they all say per day you see if it fits it was 397.5 and the high was 795 and yours is 600 so yes it's safe okay so now since it's safe we just do our dosage problem for our dosage problem we do what we what's have ordered so 150 milligrams uh, with 250 milligrams is available times 5 mLs. So I have 150 divided by 250 times 5. I have 3. Let me double check my answer just in case though. 150 divided by 250 times 5. Yeah, 3. Okay, so I have 3 milliliters is my final answer. So that's safe dose range. Um, I hope that helped. Um, if anybody needs anything, just let me know. Bye.